Good morning, children. How are you? Fine. I hope you all are fine. Okay. Yes, Miss Ann. Did you finish Unit Four? Have you completed all the notes in the Max Note and Max book? Did you finish all? Yes. Then we have up to four Roman letters. Okay. Have you completed all the four Roman letters? And the book also we have more exercises. Have you completed all? Yes. Today we are going to start the next lesson. Multiplication. Okay. You need five. Multiplication. Did you study multiplication in previous class? Yes. You all studied multiplication in previous class. Is it? Listen. In previous class also we studied tables. So do you know the multiplication table? What from one to ten? Did you remember all? Yes. In this lesson, all the multiplication tables we want to install there. Okay. We have to use the multiplication in each questions. Okay. Listen. Now we are going to see the fill ups. Fill up. Fill in the blanks. Listen to the first one. Multiplication is repeated addition. Okay. multiplication is repeated addition listen do you understand this multiplication is repeated addition that means what listen if you are multiplying 4 and 3 4 3 are 12 Okay, if you add four for three times, what answer you will get? You will get the answer twelve. Similarly, if you add three for four times, what answer you will get? You will get the answer twelve. So multiplication is repeated addition. Okay, listen to the next one. What is the symbol of multiplication? Multiplication is denoted by the symbol. Star cross. Okay, listen. In addition, what is the symbol of addition? Plus. Symbol of subtraction? Minus. Symbol of multiplication? Cross. Okay, and symbol of division? The symbol. Okay, so the symbol of multiplication is cross. Okay, listen to the third one. Any number multiplied by one gives the number itself. Okay, if you multiply any number with one, you will get the same answer. Okay, see if you multiply four into one, you will get the answer four. If you multiply twenty-five into one, you will get the answer twenty-five. Okay, if you multiply four one into Forty, you will get the answer forty. So if you multiply any number by one, you the answer is the same number. Okay. So any number multiplied by one gives the number itself. Do you understand? This is the next fill up. This one ninety nine into one. Equal to dash. What is the answer? If you now only we studied any number multiplied by one gives the number itself. Is it? So if you multiply one with ninety nine, the answer is the same number ninety nine. Do you understand? Let's have one more question. If you multiply hundred with one, the answer is hundred. Okay. Listen to the next one. If you multiply forty-five, listen. If you multiply forty-five with one, the answer is forty-five. Okay. So any number multiplied by one gives the number itself. Do you understand? Next, any number multiplied by zero gives zero. Okay. Any number multiplied by zero, that means the answer is. Zero. If you multiply uh, multiply any number with one, answer is the same number. But if you multiply any number with zero, the answer is zero. Okay? Listen. 
46 into 0 equal to 0. Okay. Miss another one. 75 into dash equal to 0. What will come here? 0. Okay. Listen to the next one. 100 into 0 equal to dash. What is the answer? 0. Okay. So any number multiplied by 0 gives the answer is 0. Do you understand? Yes. Listen to the next Roman letter. Write the following addition statement as multiplication statement. Roman letter 2. Write the following addition statement as multiplication statement. So, addition statement. As multiplication statement. Okay. So, addition statement does multiplication statement. That means, the question is given in addition statement. We should write the answer in multiplication statement. Okay. How is the question? The question is given in addition statement. We have to write the answer in multiplication statement. Okay. That is the heading. Listen to the first one. The question is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Now the question is given in addition statement. How we have to write the answer? We should write the answer in multiplication statement. So listen. How can you write the answer? First you should count the number. Okay. So here how many times I wrote 5? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times I wrote 5. Okay. So the answer is 4 into 5. Do you understand? Listen. You have to count the number. Don't add. You have to count the number. Okay. Then only you can write the answer. Easy. Listen to the next one. The question is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. Listen. How many times here I write the number 8? Shall we count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times I wrote the number 8. Okay. So how can you write the answer? Answer is 7 into 8. That means 7 times I wrote the number 8. Do you have any doubt here? Shall we see one more question? Listen. Listen to the third one. 100 plus, 100 plus, 100. How many times here I wrote 100? Here I wrote 100 for 3 times. 1, 2, 3. How can you write the answer? So answer is 3 times 100. Okay? 3 into 100. Listen. 1000 plus 1000. What is the answer? How many times I wrote here? Thousand. I wrote thousand here? Two times. So the answer is two in the thousand. Do you understand? So addition statement is multiplication statement. Now the question is in addition. Here we wrote the answer in multiplication. Do you understand this? Yes. Listen to the next one. Multiplication on number line. That is very easy. Third Roman letter, multiplication on number line. Okay, multiplication on number line. That means, here we should find the answer by using number line. Okay, listen, draw the number lines to find the Answer. Okay. So for this we have to draw the number line to find the answer. Listen to the first question. 6 into 2. This is the question. Okay. Here we need what is the heading? Multiplication on number line. Okay. So we here we need number line. Shall we uh, draw the number line? Listen. Number lines means you should start from 0. Okay. 0. Next 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन अकॉर्डिंग टू आर विश वी कैन राइट द नंबर नाउ दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सिक्स इनटू टू सो यू शुड फाइंड अस सिक्स टाइम्स टू ओके हाउ यू कैन रीड दिस यू हैव टू रीड अस सिक्स टाइम्स टू सो वी हैव टू ड्रा द कर्व फॉर सिक्स टाइम्स ओके लिसन नाउ द इंटरवल वी कैन सी सिक्स टाइम्स टू ओके सो यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो फर्स्ट नंबर इज टू सो टू ओके हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी वांट्स टू ड्रा द कर्व फॉर सिक्स टाइम्स सो वन टाइम वी कंप्लीट नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू कम वन टू अनदर कर्व ओके बिकॉज़ टू इज द नंबर नेक्स्ट वन टू अनदर कर्व ओके नेक्स्ट वन टू अनदर कर्व वन टू अनदर कर्व वन टू अनदर कर्व हियर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी वांट्स टू ड्रा we want to draw for six times okay shall we count the 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here we draw the curve for six times okay so the answer is where well, in which place the curve ends the curve end in the number 12 so 12 is the answer okay so answer is 6 into 2 equal to 12 do you understand this question This. Shall we see another question? Listen to the next one. Second question. Five into three. This is the second question. Okay. So five times three. Here we want to draw the number line. Listen to the number line. Start from zero. Oh, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, etc. Okay, listen. What is the question? Five times three. So, how many times we want to draw the curve? We want to draw the curve for five times for the number three. Okay. So now we have to we are start. See first number one, two, three. First curve up to three. Okay, next one, two, three. Second curve, one, two, three. Third curve, one, two, three. Fourth curve, one, two, three. Fifth curve. So, how many times we want to draw the curve? We want to draw for five times. Count it: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, where the curve ends? The curve ends in fifteen. Okay. So, what is the answer? Answer is five into three equal to fifteen. Have you understood? Yes. Shall we see one more question? Let's listen to the next question. Three into four. Okay. Here, how many times we want to draw the curve? Three times we want to draw the curve for the number four. Okay. Draw the number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, etc. Okay, listen. Three times we want to draw the curve for the number four. Okay, here the number is four. We want to draw the curve for three times. Okay, listen. When you draw the number line. You should start from zero. Don't start from one. Okay, start from zero. Okay. So now for the number four, shall we count one, two, three, four? So first curve up to four. Okay. Next one, two, three, four. Second curve, third curve, one, two, three, four. Third curve. Okay. See three curves here. I draw. We draw, but it ends to the number twelve. So what is the answer? Answer is three into four equal to twelve. Okay. Do you understand today's portion? First, what did we study? First, we studied fill-ups. Okay. Next, we studied addition to multiplication. Now we study multiplication or number line. Do you have any doubt in today's portion? 
Have you understood all? Yes. Mark today's homework. Today's homework. Exercise. 2A and 2B. No, 5, sorry. 5A and 5B. Okay, exercise 5A and 5B. Okay, today's exercise 5A and 5B. Do the homework problem in your maths book. Okay, yes. Thank you.